AWS X-Ray, a tracing system used to analyze and debug distributed AWS applications. According to its title page, it can help you understand how your application and its underlying services are performing to identify and troubleshoot the root cause of performance issues and errors. That sounds amazing, so how come you never see it being used? To answer this question, I gave X-Ray a spin. The first use case I decided to test out was with a typical serverless REST API using API Gateway, Lambda and DynamoDB. I wanted to see if X-Ray could give us a better experience when debugging such an application, in comparison to just sifting through CloudWatch logs. I have an API Gateway endpoint integrated with a Lambda function written in Node.js, which reads some data from one DynamoDB table and saves some to another. There is no easy way to enable X-Ray on every element of the API at once, so I had to go one by one. First, I went to my API stage and turned on X-Ray tracing. As I found out later, I also needed to make sure that the API Gateway has the rights to write to CloudWatch, even though I did not need to view the logs from it. Otherwise, I could not automatically fetch the logs related to my traces. Then I did the same for my Lambda. The console was kind enough to provide the Lambda execution role with the needed policy. Finally, to view the traces related to DynamoDB, I needed to include the AWS X-Ray SDK in the Lambda code and wrap the initialization of the DynamoDB client inside the capture AWS v3 client function. Now, let's call our endpoint a few times to generate some X-Ray traces to check out. I will send a request without the body to cause the Lambda to crash because of a bug I left there on purpose. Let's also try to break our measly database by sending a ton of requests at once. It has a low write capacity provision, so we should see some throttling. If we click on View X-ray traces in service lens on the dashboard of our Lambda, we actually get sent to CloudWatch, which seems to be where the most recent version of the X-ray console is housed. This looks pretty cool. We can see a list of all the traces and we can easily filter them using for example status codes. That's something we could do with CloudWatch as well, but here it comes in a much simplified form. Let's see what we can do when we try to view a single trace. Ok, there's a map of all the services involved, as well as a graph showing how much time the requests spent in each one of them. All the way down, we can read all the CloudWatch logs related to this trace. We can see logs from all the related groups, and if we expand the log, it will organize it for us a bit. This is the trace for the Lambda that crashed because of a bug in the code. On the service map, the Lambda parts are orange, allowing us to quickly identify the culprit. We also see that the database did not even get a chance to get involved. If we highlight the Lambda function, we can see in the Segment Details section the exception that occurred in a nice format. We can also look for it below in the CloudWatch logs. And this is the one for when our database could not handle all the right requests. It is easy to identify the database as the source of the failure. It does not lock anything into CloudWatch by itself, but we can see the exception when we highlight the trace segments related to the database, as well as in the logs of the Lambda. There is also the service map view. Here we can see at a glance how often each of the services is causing problems and how long the requests spent inside them on average. So now we have access to a dashboard which allows us to easily filter the traces for each API response. We can also see how each service performs and how long the request spends on each one of them, which is super handy for optimization. Even though the setup was a bit of a hassle and the services console is quite convoluted, the X-Ray service provided a better than default debugging experience for the serverless API after getting used to its quirks. I'm curious how it will work out in different use cases.